Hi friends, I am Ashish. I'll explain you about the features of Nexus and NX OS. Uh, right now I have two devices. This one is Nexus 7K and this one is Nexus 5K. So we'll talk about the unique things about NX OS and this Nexus hardware. Till now we have been studying about iOS and various Cisco platforms like 4500, 2900 or 6500. But this is very different. This is known as Nexus operating system, NXOS. Since it's different, there are many features which you will only find here and those will not be there in the iOS. First thing is the licenses. In the iOS, let's say 6500, we simply install the iOS, it works. There is no such case of license. But in Nexus, when you have the device, you need to have the license in place to be able to use all of the feature or feature set. Let's start it. The command to check the license is show license. It will give you detail about all of the licenses which have been installed. Like this is the license, this is the second license. So in case you want to get brief detail of it, you can use show license brief. There are four license files which have been installed into this device. Similarly on the Nexus platform, Nexus 5K actually, you can use the same command, show license or show license brief. It has three and this one has four. If you want to install the license, how you can do it? First of all, you need to copy the file into boot flash or in USB or there should be external memory slot. Okay, you can copy it there. The file which ends with the name .lic is your license file. You can also see it here. That will be your license file. So let's say that I have got this license. Let's find out dir boot flash. You can see that there are many files present here. I can say that there are two license files which are available. So let me install this one or let's say I want to install this license file. Though it is already installed, that I know, but let's see the procedure to install it. It's very simple. Command is install license. Give the path. Is it boot flash or slot zero or it's USB one or two? I have boot flash colon double slash use question mark. You will see soup local soup active. It means the supervisor engine where I am right now. Local is also same. Both are same. I'll use soup active. Now question mark. You can see these many files are available. I want to install this file. I'll simply use MDS and C. Now you can see that there are two options available. I want to install this license. So I will just use 2.1 and it will complete the file name. I will hit enter. It will give error message because the file is already present. License file already exists. Please use a different name for the new license. This is the way you can install the license. Similarly on this one, 5k also has same command. Let's try it install license boot flash. Okay. And now the question is what in case you do not have license? and you've got this device, you tell Cisco that I will buy this device but I'll test all the features for 2-3 months. Please give me a dummy device or any test Nexus 7K in case they have it. So they say that if you've got Nexus hardware and you don't have the license, don't worry. We have grace period for you. Enable that grace period. That period will be for 120 days. After 120 days, all the features will cease, will stop you need to buy a license by that time. How to enable that? What is the drawback? First drawback is that the VDC will be default only. You cannot create VDCs in that. That's the only drawback that I have. In fact, that I know. You have to use your default VDC to perform all the functions, all the features. So how to enable it? Go to config mode and license and grace period. This command doesn't work from the privilege mode. It doesn't work. But that install license command works from both, from this one as well as from the config mode. But you will not be able to use the tab in the config mode. So you have to use privilege mode for installing the license. But for installing the grace period, you need to use this config mode. It will enable. But since we already have got licenses, so that's the reason this command will be of no use to us. Similarly, on the Nexus 5K, license, grace period. Now we'll talk about the features. 
friends uh, anything that you want to use you need to have the relevant feature enabled feature is as good as having the services enabled it is not like iOS it is very different in case you want to run OSPF or BGP or EIGRP or interface SVI switched virtual interfaces you need to have the feature enabled let's try it I'm gonna create layer 3 VLAN 88 see there is error message because feature is not enabled we need to enable the feature feature space what interface VLAN hit enter it will enable the feature interface VLAN 88 it is now created I can configure the IP address let's see see similarly if I want to create router BGP 100 it will not work actually it has worked because I have already enabled the feature so let me show something else to you uh, let me see features first show feature you can see enabled disabled enabled and these are disabled okay ISIS is disabled this is enabled okay OSPF is disabled let's use router OSPF one okay now we need to enable feature feature space OSPF router OSPF one see now it is working you can even check from the show run OSPF you'll find it here that's the special thing also not one more thing show feature you can create four instances of OSPF for IPv4 and four for IPv6 though you can have any number of OSPF on routers but this Nexus has this limitation you need to use only instances which are available similarly for RIP ISIS as well for interface field and obviously it's only one BGP we know that only one BGP instance can be created on a router so that's the reason we have only one but this is for your information okay in case you want to enable MPLS then that is not a feature actually that's a feature set that's basically a technology show feature set see it is right now actually uninstalled also fabric path that is also part of feature set so you have to enable feature set for these things to work fax MPLS fabric channel over Ethernet similarly on the Nexus 5k platform it is almost same you can see that OSPF you want to use OSPF router OSPF 1 it won't work you know it very well feature space OSPF and okay no available license okay like I told you you also need to have license in place first thing is license then feature that's the reason we don't have any license for that uh, anyways we have that in Nexus 7k so we've discussed about licenses features and feature set so friends I hope that it's been informative to you and I would like to thank you for viewing have a nice day